Accessibility is something that is extremely important when designing a game. And it's something that I think about constantly. And like whether it is like how easy it is to navigate or to understand the document, understand the rules, or uh, whether it is how easy it is to read the actual text. And one thing I want to talk about today is this latter point. So we've got this image that my uh, collaborator on Stoneburner, Galen, uh, designed for the for the game and here I wanted to add a header and that header is uh, is white and it's on a light gray background which isn't ideal um, like usually sometimes you can get away with it by making the text big enough but I always want to make sure that like things are as easy to read as possible so in this particular use case what I want to do is add a backdrop so to do this, what I'll do is I'll turn off the preview mode, which will show me my bleed settings, which is very important when adding a backdrop or an image to make sure that when I bring this to print, uh, the backdrop will be taken into consideration when the paper is trimmed. So I will use the rectangle tool on the left here and draw a rectangle from the top left border of the bleed all the way to the bottom and then drag it over here. So uh, the backdrop is currently like I usually put it black and then what I do is I press Y or use the transparency tool over here and then I draw a horizontal line you can hold shift to make that line like to force its alignment and then once I'm satisfied with the backdrop I just like release it and then I will press V to go back to my cursor and then I'll drag this rectangle behind the text Let's toggle back to preview mode to remove the bleed and looks uh, to see what it looks like. So here it's a subtle thing, but if I remove it, it makes the text way harder to read versus if I put it back in. And then we see the text here. It's like I said, it's subtle, but it makes a whole difference in terms of how easy it is to read that thing.